All right, guys. So if you guys have both Black Pearl Cookie as well as Captain Caviar, you guys might be able to try this team out. I've been using it for a while, and I have to say this team is pretty darn strong, and it is pretty good against majority of the team. So it's a very general team that you guys can kind of go into without really thinking too hard about it. And of course, uh, you know, it won't be a 100% win rate, but it is going to be a pretty strong team. So I just wanted to share it out with you guys so that you guys can try it out yourselves, especially if you guys are trying to climb the arena a little bit earlier. All right, so here we go. Toppings real quick. For Financier, it is going to be that five swift chocolate. You do want to have it so that you guys are able to quickly give the shield and the buffs to Captain Caviar here. So 17.3% cooldown is what is required. And then of course, having that damage resist is going to be important for her survival. Next one is going to be Captain Caviar, a little bit of a different uh, build here, but I do have 7% cooldown at least for Captain Caviar, and then focusing on damage resist, a little bit lacking here, actually I'm kind of really lacking, uh, but you know, I try to work with what I have right now to reach that 7% cooldown and not taking too much away from my cookies that are uh, important for something like Guild Boss Battle right now. So uh, this is what I'm going to be running with. If you guys have the ability to uh, do three uh Syrian raspberry two solid almond that's actually going to be really good as well just because that will increase captain caviar survivability even higher all right and then next one is going to be eclair i'm using five of the solid almond at least around uh seven to eight percent cooldown the higher it is the better it's going to be in order to quickly uh keep that weakness debuff stack uh and then allowing captain caviar as well as black pearl to do more damage so that is going to be it. If you have high enough damage resist, you can actually switch out a couple of these for maybe uh, Swift Chocolate, if anything. But I would say most important thing, number one, is going to be damage resist. At least around, you know, good 38 uh, to 40% uh, is probably going to be better. Especially if you're able to uh, push the uh, cooldown a little bit higher. Next one is going to be Black Pearl. Black Pearl is a little bit different than before. Three of the Swift Chocolate, two Solid Almond here. Uh, at least uh, you have to at least have 30%, I'll have to say. And then cooldown, we're pushing it a little bit higher here. 17.3%. Uh, around 17 to 18% is actually around the time where you want to be, especially if you're versing another Black Pearl cookie because it's going to allow you to use your skill a little bit faster, killing off their uh, Black Pearl before they're able to do a lot more damage. And it is going to synergize pretty well with Captain Caviar's skill as well as Eclair's skill. And the next one is going to be a cream unicorn, a little bit different as well, right? With three of the juicy apple jelly and two of the swift chocolate around 9% cooldown as well as focusing on damage resist. And then, you know, this is going to be good because you're actually going to be using the scythe here alongside uh, the jelly watch as well as the scroll and uh, increasing the real crit percentage for cream unicorn around even higher than 50%. So it is going to allow them to do a little bit more healing. So let me show you guys this team in battle for against uh, different builds, uh, like one tank, two tank, and uh, things like that. And let's see how well we do against those teams. All right, guys, first opponent here, we have Walberry, single tank comp with Espresso and probably going to be like, you know, Eclair or Sea Fairy Black Pearl. So let's see how well we do. All right, here we go. And this one's wow okay so this one is the frost queen one so frost queen team has been uh going around uh right now with black pearl and espresso or captain caviar uh so i'll uh see what i can do about uh this particular team right here it is pretty strong if you can uh make it uh, you, know, you know if you can build it properly so I'll, I'll try to find that out and uh see how well we do against that but there you go. I mean, we're just kind of wiped it clean. So there we go. So uh, I'll have to say this team right here, this particular style of team is going to be better against uh, double tanks. But right now for us, we're just really focusing on the raw damage. Frost Queen had no chance, right? Black Pearl doing a ton of damage right here. All right, this time around, we have the double tank caught with Black Pearl on the enemy team as well. Probably going to be Espresso looking at the attack right here. So let's go in and see how well we do. All right, here we go, and it is an espresso. Okay, so here we let's see how well we do against them. Here we go, come on, Captain Caviar skill, Eclair. So you can see right there, just because our Black Pearl actually used her skill first, like a little bit before the enemy Black Pearl, she actually dodges that first lightning that uh, that enemy Black Pearl is gonna do. All right. And oh, this one's gonna be a little bit different. 
and we're gonna probably lose this. Yeah, okay. Kind of close, but uh, wasn't close enough. We did a little bit more damage here, but we did uh, lose on the sustain side of things here. So, you know, our cream unicorn died a little bit earlier, and Eclair was actually killed off a little earlier too. So, uh, this time around, a little bit of a loss against a double tank. All right, another double tank here, except this time around, it is going to be a little bit lower on the power, which means that they're probably going to be using like a full solid almond. Uh, Eclair as well as maybe Black Pearl or even uh, you know maybe Black Pearl with a Captain Caviar or anything like that really but with full solid almond here so let's see how well we do all right here we go let's see who we're going to yep so Eclair and Black Pearl here full solid almond pretty much here all right so we're able to uh, see how well we do against a full solid almond one because we're going to definitely have higher cooldown right a little bit higher oh wait did Maybe they're not using a full solid almond because we're pretty much using the skill at the same time right now. A little bit faster on my end. But you can see right there, you know. As long as there's no espresso kind of just destroying our team early on, then we're kind of good right there. And there you guys go. Captain Caviar coming in with a bunch of damage right here. 3 million damage. And uh, their Black Bro actually doing a quite a lot of damage as well but Peninsia did buff up Black Pearl on the enemy team so there you guys go okay this time around it's going to be a 2-1-2 comp which is going to have Vampire it looks like it's going to be Espresso as well so let's see how well we do against this one there we go so it is an Espresso here so let's see how well we do against a OG or very uh standard right now right for the meta uh, which is going to be Espresso Vampire after their magic candy came out so there we go. It's going to reach the one minute mark soon. Can we use our skill first? Yep. And pretty much, uh, yeah. Okay. So everyone kind of died out super quick at that one minute mark. Dodge the vampire hit right there. And we're going to come back. All right. And this one is going to come very close. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat this one, guys. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. So... A little bit of a downfall right there against Vampire. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't get rid of his uh, uh, revive a little bit faster. So he did come back and destroy our Black Pearl. But wow, it's a 5-star Ascension, 5-star Ascension, 4-star Ascension, 4-star, four 4-star. Four so definitely a little bit higher on the stat-wise right there for them. But, um, you know, you can see that they still, we did still lose uh, from the Vampire coming back alive and destroying our team. All right, this time around, it is going to be the Caramel Arrow Speed Comp here. So let's see how well we do against this one. Here we go. And if they are going to be using Espresso and Eclair on the enemy team alongside uh, Caramel Arrow. All right, so no finish here this time around. Unicorn heal. Finish your shield. Captain Caviar, come on. Okay, Eclair was able to use his skill before he died right there. So, it's good right here. And Camera Arrow is dead on the enemy team. And Walberry's gonna die right here, probably. Yep. And we should be good. So, there you guys go. Uh, you know, a pretty clean victory, I would say. Against the summon, uh, not a summon, a comp. Against a, a, a speed comp right here. Of course, like I said, uh, the higher damage resist Captain Caviar is going to be able to have with that 7% cooldown is going to be really good. I did have to uh, sacrifice a little bit on the uh, damage resist because I wanted to put the cooldown. So that's the reason why he's kind of dying off a little bit earlier than he, he probably should. And also against these kind of, uh, you know, teams, 5-star promotion is a bit on the lower side. So there you guys go. But a ton of damage. All right, one more time with the single tank comp right here, guys. I have kind of like a, almost a mirror matchup here, except they are using the ma monocle. So let's see how well we do against this one. And it is literally a mirror matchup, except for the fact that they are using the monocle instead of the scythe. And we actually got lucky right there with uh, killing off Eclair uh, super early right there. Uh, that's the one good thing about having the scythe against a mirror matchup like this. If you have the extra damage, then you're definitely going to have the upper hand just because you're going to be able to kill off their enemies a little bit faster. 
uh, just like how we did. And right there, even uh, with the monocle, we're just kind of uh, shredding through them with the scythe and the extra crit. So there you go. It's going to be a victory right here. And almost four mil coming out from Black Pearl Cookie. Captain Caviar is actually a two-star ascension, three-star ascension for uh, Eclair on the enemy team. So pretty good all-around general team that you guys can pretty much use against, two, you know, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you guys could probably use it against uh, different teams right here. And of course, if you do want to go a little bit of a sustain side of things, then you definitely can switch out the site for something like the monocle uh, if you guys do seem fit. But uh, right now, this is going to be something that you guys probably can try out, especially if you have both Captain Caviar as well as Black Pearl Cookie inside of your arsenal, all right? So just wanted to share this team with you guys. I will try to find out that uh, France Queen team. Um, I actually have somebody who has sent me it, but they don't really utilize uh, Black Pearl in that team. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know, and I'll quickly update you guys on that. Tier list is also coming up very soon, guys, so watch out for that as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.